welcome to the webinar Google Plus for Realtors. This webinar is sponsored by Alice and James Estates and Homes, and we will begin. Hi, everybody. Let's tell you a little about Alice and James Estates and Homes. Uh, Alice and James Estates and Homes is is a one of the largest internet real estate companies in America. They actually have more top ten realtors than any other uh, brokerage in the country. Their founder is Mr. James Crumbaugh. He founded uh, Allison James, and his primary goal was to create a company that attracted the more top two, more of the top two percent realtors in the country than uh, than any other company in the country. And that's exactly what they're doing today with the uh, level and the uh, talent of realtors that are attracted to the internet brokerage of Allison James. They currently have over 700 realtors, and they're uh, adding brokers in, in states uh, literally daily, uh, and uh, they uh, have a, a huge um, number of realtors all over the country, and again, the top 2% of uh, realtors in the country are attracted to Allison James. Alicia, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, TC, and thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Today we're going to cover Google Plus and Google Hangout for Realtors. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it over to John Joyce, who is our IT consultant for Allison James Estates and Homes. All right, thanks, Alicia. Hey, everybody. So what, like you said, what we're going to talk about today is Google Plus, which is uh, Google's new social network. It's been out for just around a year now, but most people haven't really heard about it. And there's actually some fantastic tools out there that are especially that are especially applicable to the business world, um, and even more especially that for realtors. Um, like you said, I am the uh, one of the IT consultants here for Allison James. We're the ones working uh, to bring the technology that you guys need, uh, need to do your jobs on a daily basis. So we're going to go through this, and I'm going to try my best not to do what us IT people do best, which is put you all to sleep. So we're going to move through this, and uh, like I said, any questions that come up at the end, we'll get those answered. So uh, Google Plus is um, just like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. It's a social network, and if you are experience using those, then you've probably already set up an account. Um, if you're a Gmail user, you already have a Google Plus account, but Google Plus is really built to be a network of people organized by you into different groups that you're going to use, and we're going to go through that in a minute. So if you're experienced using Facebook, especially Google Plus is going to be very, very similar. You have where you post things, your photos are organized for you, your contacts, and um, you can communicate through it as well, although in some very unique ways. We can, oh, there we go, oh, I'm in control, great. Um, let's see, Google Plus is an online community where information you use here is collaboration and communication are brought together in a single product. The great part about that is, is the web is so full of so many fantastic tools. One of the hardest parts for, uh, on your end is to manage all of those tools. You're communicating maybe through Skype or through any number of other um, you know, online products. You've got uh, contacts listed through uh, different CRMs or through your Facebook page or your Outlook contacts. Um, you know, you're, you're getting information maybe through RSS or Google Reader or through any number of news websites like CNN, NBC, Fox. Um, those are all very powerful tools, but sometimes it's very tedious to try and get to all of them um, through the Internet, especially keep them all organized. What Google Plus is so great about is they've taken some of those best standards from around the Internet and brought them all under one roof. So it makes it much easier for you to understand and work with, but also keeps it in one super simple interface. So you only have to learn how to do something one time, and it's very applicable across a much wider uh, range of much wider range of uh, people. Uh, circles is one of the key factors in Google Plus. Now, if you're a Facebook user, you're familiar with your friends list. But um, I know what happens to a lot of people is their you know quote unquote friends list gets to be very very big and very hard to manage. Um, you have you know maybe uh, dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of friends listed in your account. There's no real organizational standard to them. There's a mixture of friends, colleagues, acquaintances, people you might have met one time that friended you after the event, and you know, you're not going to communicate with that person very often. But now they're in this big list. It's so hard to sort through, so hard to manage. Um, Google Plus gives one fantastic tool to you. It's called Circles. What that allows you to do is establish any number of circles that you want to categorize people exactly how you want to use them within Google Plus. So, for example, on mine, I have a list of follow I have my followers circle, which is people that I want to follow their information. I can put any number of people into that circle. I maybe want to get more specific. I just want to post something out for my family members to see, <clears throat> excuse me, or for my coworkers to see. In your case, you could have circles specifically for 
Allison James Realtors. You could have your brokers, your corporate people in a different circle. You could have a special circle just for leads that you're working on right now as a great way to distribute information to just those people. I know that my Facebook wall tends to get incredibly cluttered with information coming in from dozens of different places. Oftentimes, they'll put it out there on Facebook. It was never intended for someone like me. That's the great part about circles. If you have a piece of information that's just relevant to one core group of all your friends online, you can easily distribute it just to that core group of people. So circles is a very powerful tool for organization and for really targeting your message at exactly who you think needs to get it while not cluttering up the screen for those who uh, you know, just don't need that one bit of information. Oops. Yeah, so we just went through. So you know, circles, you can communicate with exactly the people you want to talk to. It's right there in the Google Plus interface, and you can subcategorize those people exactly how you need them to be. Um, another great feature of Google Plus is their media systems. Uh, Google Plus offers awesome, awesome support for working with photos, videos, audio, and you can, again, just like circles, you can categorize those things in really, really powerful ways. So again, in Facebook, you've got albums, but in Google Plus, you've got, you've got these albums, but you know, Google's great at search. It's what they've done since day one, and they've integrated the, you know, that kind of Google power directly into how Google Plus is functions. So once you get all your stuff organized into albums, finding exactly what you're looking for is so, so easy. Uh, it's got the unified search bar right at the top of the screen, and you just go in there, and if you're looking for a picture of a certain person, it will find all of them, a place it will find it. And again, if you want to distribute um, you know, photos, videos, audio to specific groups of people, you may have you know, pictures from your family vacation to the beach. Those don't necessarily need to go out to all your Allison James contacts or to the clients that you're, trying, that you're you know, currently communicating with. You can send it to just the right people. So those circles that we talked about integrate directly into the media functions of Google+. Plus. So everything plays together really nicely, and it just gives you that much more control over the information you want to send out there. And by far, in my opinion, one of the biggest features that sets Google+, Plus apart from all the other social networks, is how great communication is through Google+, Plus and through these Google services. Like I mentioned earlier, um, if you've got a Gmail account, you're already one step closer to being exactly where you need to be. Your Gmail account transfers directly over into Google+, Plus. you just need two more button clicks to get on, and you're all set and ready to go with your Google account. And Gmail has been huge on the communication scene really ever since uh, Google, uh, Gmail rolled out um, about uh, seven, eight years ago. And, and now it's become one of the de facto standards for some of the best email services on the planet. And they've taken that, what they've, the experiences they've made in email and really rolled them into new things like text messaging, online chat, and now what's called their unified system, which is called Google Hangouts. Hangouts is, just like Google Plus is your social network for everything, Hangouts is your communication standard for everything. You can load the Google Hangouts app on your smartphone. You have it on your desktop. You have it on your web browser. You can, it, it integrates instant messaging, email through Gmail, video chats, uh, all, into one great, all into one place. You can host a Hangout, and again, utilize those circles we talked about. If you want to organize a Hangout to have a video chat with just a core group of uh, realtors or brokers that you have in your group, it's very simple to get on Google+, select that group, start a Hangout, and everybody gets notified and they join, and you're in. You all don't need a bunch of extra software. There's nothing else extra to install. It's all run directly through Google+, and it's very, very powerful as a communications tool because now once you've gone through organizing your circles and getting people organized how you want them to be, they're just a button click away from sharing that, you know, sharing the important pictures of the, of the property you were just at that day or shooting over an email with the con the, you know, the contracts they're waiting for, or you know, if it's time to host a meeting, you don't have to go through a bunch of extra steps in software, it's just one click, and you're right in there talking to all the people who you need to be able to communicate with. So Hangouts is truly one of the stand, you know, separate apart features that no one else has really come close to matching. Facebook, of course, has Facebook chat and stuff like that, but not, and nothing really that's kind of made it across the board to all these devices so seamlessly. On my own smartphone, I have the Google Hangouts app, and I use it to communicate through text message to all of the people in my office on a daily basis. We're running around all over the place, and we're able to stay in constant communication very, very simply because I have different group chats already set up. So if I need everybody in my office to get a message, in five seconds they have it. Or if I just want to reach out to a couple people, I simply select that thread and there it goes. So it's very powerful on your smartphone, your tablet, laptop, desktop, anywhere where you have your web browser or the Google Plus and Hangouts apps, you're already set and ready to go.
Again, as I said, they're available on all your major devices. So you've got, and it's also available for um, Apple's iOS as well as Android. So if you're an iPhone user or if you've got a Droid or a Nexus or something like that, a, a Galaxy S4 or 3, you're already set and ready to go. It's all available for free through your App Store. So you're looking for the Google Plus app and the Google Hangouts app. Hangouts is its own separate app now because that way you don't have, if you just want to communicate, you don't want to even have to, we're trying to bring down roadblocks. So you don't even have to wait through all of Google Plus to get to it. You can just open that Hangouts app right away and there's all your circles, all your contacts, everything's kept in sync. So a conversation that you start on your smartphone, you get back to your office from the laptop, that same conversation is right there waiting for you where you left off and everything's kept in sync across your devices. Um, it all operates over over your data connection, so you don't have, especially for text messages, there's no worry about limits there. Any, any voice or video you, communication only goes against your data limit, so if you're on Wi-Fi, you're set, or your data plan, you don't have to worry about long distance or minutes. I actually just had a Google Hangout with a software developer in Germany just the other day, and it took us two minutes to set up. The communication was flawless, and it was a really great experience, and the best part was it cost us nothing. So it's a very, very powerful tool for that kind of communication. Um, I, I will say of all, the, of all the features on there, the actual group meetings or the video chats are really the, one of the most useful um, because it's just that, that great to be able to get a group of people. Um, three people from my office were in three different parts of the country and we all had to get together on a project and it was simple as pull out our smartphones, open up the app, and as you can see here on this slide, uh, everyone's organized. It automatically focuses on the speaker. Um, you can have side chats going on at the same time. You can drop uh, photos into the thread that everyone can get. You can share documents. All those same pieces of media that we talked about on Google Plus all integrate directly into Hangouts. So you can hop into your photos and share something that way. It's really great. Everything within Google Plus is super integrated to allow you easy access to what you need exactly when you need it. And that's one of the greatest features about it. Um, you know, we can, those are some of the biggest features, definitely with some of those useful, but now we're all kind of left with, okay, that sounds great, but what do I do? As I already mentioned, if you already have a Google account, which if you have a Gmail account or a YouTube account that you use to upload things or any of those other Google services, which there seem to be a million of these days, you're already, you're already right there. It's just a simple visit to plus.google.com and you will be taken to this page where you, sign, you either sign in with your existing account or you can see in the slide, the red button right up there in the top right says create an account. Uh, you answer some very simple questions there, um, same as setting up a Gmail or a YouTube account. And uh, within minutes, you're going to be set up. You have to set up, obviously, your email, your current email address, whether that's a Gmail, or uh, you can use your Allison James account or whatever whatever your main email account is that you're going to want to be able to have in case you have to reset your password. You put your password information in there, some location stuff, so they make sure that all your language settings are correct out of the gate, and you're all set up. And just like that, you're in the system, you're ready to start adding friends, and you're all good to go. You can start creating circles and having hangouts right out of the gate. So setup is very, very easy. The features are all there at your fingertips. And that same day, you're ready to start using all these great features that are going to be such a such a, a useful application to you, especially as these features continue to grow. I personally, uh, just a few weeks ago, spent five days in San Francisco with Google at their annual developers conference. And I can tell you that they are hugely committed to this product and making it great for everyone who uses it. Uh, what I've shown you here today is just the tip of the iceberg. I've seen things that they have coming over the, over the coming months and over the next year that are really going to blow everyone's minds. And I can tell you, getting in now, getting comfortable using the service is going to make it even better when these even more advanced features come down the road that are really, really going to be hugely powerful and very, very useful. So remember, sign in at plus.google.com if you already got your account, or get or uh, go ahead and create uh, your account if you don't already have one. Get your people organized in the circles. That's the best place to get started. A ton of people who probably already have those accounts, you may not even know it. So drop by, throw in your credentials, and uh, start exploring. And as always, we are available 24/7 to answer any questions that you have about Google Plus, how you can integrate it into your workflows, or if anything's not working quite the, quite the way it should be, we can help you out with that as well. So I think that about wraps it up on my end. Okay, now we're, we'll give the floor to Alicia. Are you there? I am here. Excellent. And one moment while I give you control of the slides. Okay. Okay, you have control. Okay. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia Atari, and I am a licensed agent here in Florida. 
and I am a part of a top producing team in my area. And today I just want to quickly share with you some of the things that I use in Google Hangout on a daily basis for my real estate business. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go over how we use Google Hangout when working in a real estate team. Um, what you can do is you can have your multiple team members. All of them can be on one call at a time to discuss listings, daily tasks, or even closings. And usually what my team does is we set up um, a routine to join a, to join our team hangout at around 8.30 in the morning. And that's where we discuss what we're doing day to day. Um, we go over any listings that we have, closings, anything that needs to be done in title, and even just our daily tasks for the day. Um, so we do use this for that. And as you can see at the bottom, you can have up to 10, you know, 10 team members and everybody can be seen all on one thing together. Um, now, for YouTube, you can also watch YouTube videos together, as you can see here on the left. Now, your team members and yourself can go over videos that you're creating. For example, my team and I, we put together videos for our listings. We um, Also, you can do one for why should you hire us as a, an agent, um, and so on. There's multiple videos that we do. Uh, now, one certain member of your team, once they've finished the video, what we'll do is we'll all go on together and we'll get on Hangout and we'll, you, we'll watch it from YouTube. And we can collectively go over this video through the Hangout and we can comment, we can share, we can have suggestions on changes on these videos. Um, that way we can all kind of coincide together and do that. So that's another really great thing that we use when doing Google Hangout um, through YouTube. Now on the next slide, um, now another way that we use Google Hangout to make our time more efficient and productive is by using a virtual assistant. And here are a few things that I use Google Hangout for when working with my virtual assistant. Um, you know, first off, we just establish a week, weekly meeting using the Google Hangout because it allows us to do everything in one place. Um, we use this to train our virtual assistant on daily tasks by using a split screen that you can use. Um, as well as down here at the bottom, when you sign up for Google Plus or you have a Google account, you'll be able to access your Google Drive, which in a previous webinar, if you've been on, we've gone over how you can do documents, spreadsheets, presentations, all through Google Docs. Now, you can use shared documentation creation and you're able to review openly and together. So what we can do is we can use the Hangout to go over any shared documents and be able to openly discuss any changes or comments on these documents together. As you can see at the bottom here, you'll be in your Hangout and you'll be able to see you in your assistant and then you'll be able to do a split screen and you'll be able to both go over this document together. That way if there's any questions or it's a little bit more visual. You'll be able to see exactly when, what needs to be changed and what you need to go over in that document or that um, listing agreement and so on. Um, so now that I've really shared with you how Google Hangout helps with my real estate business, I urge you guys to join Google Plus and actually to start using your Google Hangout to help make your day-to-day -day business and real estate more proficient. Um, and that's really all I had. So if we want to go over questions, I don't know if you wanted to do that. Yes. Okay, we're going to go through, uh, open up the floor for questions. And as I showed you earlier, there are two ways to do that. Um, pressing your uh, button on the left on your control panel, you can minimize and maximize that button. And you can either uh, raise your hand or type in questions in your box, uh, or you can, uh, again, raise your hand. And if you raise your hand, what I'll do is, is uh, attempt to activate your microphone and allow you to uh, to interact with us. So one moment while I pull up the first set of questions. Okay, um, this is from, it looks like, Edie Womack. And um, I think this is a question for you, John. Um, mm -hmm. She says, on the setup page, it calls for your personal name. It calls for your personal name. How do you put a business name? 
Okay, so your actual account is going to is actually set up for you as a person. Um, you, you don't want to think about the, your Google Plus account as being for um, an entity as a whole. It's the same way as in Facebook. You have your personal Facebook account, which is set up with your name, your contact information. And then you have your business page. You have a business page on Facebook that's connected to that account. But at the end of the day, you still have to have your account there. The same goes for Google Plus. You're going to want to set that up with your information, your name, your location, email address, so on and so forth, so that your account is established for you. You can then go through and um, you can set up once in your account, you can, there's, a part, there's parts of your profile as far as the name of your business, your business contact information, so on and so forth. So if, like, if you were to go on my Google Plus account, uh, you'll see on there, you know, you know, John Joyce is the CEO of Republic Technology, and so on and so forth. Um, all of my business information is listed there and is searchable, so if someone searches for that information, they will find me. But then the your actual Google Plus account is made and built for you as a person. Not, you, it's not really built to have an entire office or an entire corporate structure all under one umbrella. Uh, you would need to have individual accounts for each person. Okay. I have another. Um, it's from Anthony. Um, he's asked, he asked how, uh oh, um, it's moving, I apologize, more questions are coming in. <laughs> okay. Um, how is this relevant to my real estate business? Wow. God, um, I would imagine that's for you, Alicia. How is this relative to your, to your? Relevant. He said relevant for my real estate business. Well, I think that it just more or less provides tools um, that can help your real estate business. I mean, when it comes to being, when, when, for me, when it comes to having a virtual assistant, I need to be able to train my assistant and I need to be able to check the progression on things that they're working on. And because I have Google Hangout, I can, uh, it allows me to be able to train my um, assistant and be able to to work at the same time on things as well as when I and my team um, you know there's times when all of us need to talk collectively and we get all some one of somebody's in France somebody's in New York somebody's in Florida we can all get on and do this together um, as well as you know if you have say you have a seller that's um, across the country and you need to talk to them and so does the title company. All of you three can get on and do this together. I think it's just another way. I mean, it, correct me if I'm wrong, John. What uh, do you think? Yeah, no, yeah, if you don't mind, I'll actually just not so yeah. much correct, just throw in on top of that. I agree completely, but the, the most powerful thing here is a lot a lot of, if not all of these services already exist on the Internet. It's one of the first things I said. They're, they're not reinventing the wheel here so much as they're taking so many of these services I know that I use every single day and bring them all into one place. That's where it's powerful for me, using things like circles to better organize my contacts and my people than having these automatically synced across all my computers, my, my, uh, my smartphone, my tablet, and then Hangouts especially. Once all that work is done, you know, so much of us spend time on these social networks why not have it so that the time invested is also helping you in a business sense? Because now, once all your people are organized, your media is on there, and now you can utilize Hangouts to better communicate and share those things. Um, it's just it's taking a lot of tools that I think many of us have already been using for quite some time and bringing them all under one roof, making them cohesively work together. And for me, at least in my business, it's an extremely valuable uh, proposition. Excellent. Okay, we have a brave soul, ladies and gentlemen. Judy Vassal. <laughs> I'm going to activate your microphone. Thank you for agreeing. Uh, one moment while I do that. Okay, Judy, your microphone is activated. Judy, are you there? I'll try one more time. Are you there, Judy? You can talk if you're um, if you're there. Your mic is activated. Okay, she wasn't sure if she was going to. Uh, okay, she says she's speaking. Okay, uh, maybe the mic isn't um, isn't working on there. But I'll, I'll ask the question that she asked. Uh, she says, "Are there tutorials at the Google? Are there tutorials at Google Plus about how to use all these tools?" Um, there is, uh, if you go to plus.google.com and get your account set up, there are 
uh, help pages. Google has help pages for kind of how just the very, very boilerplate basics for getting set up. But I'll tell you, in my experience anyway, uh, some of the best tutorials in the world aren't all that effective in arenas like this just because everyone's going to use this tool a little bit differently. And the best way you can really learn it, I said they've got questions and answers on there as far as how do I set up my account, how do I uh, establish uh, people into circles, um, you know, how do I start a hangout, the really, really simple stuff, that is there. But the, I will say truly getting comfortable with it is just going to take, ex, you know, kind of exploring it, using it, uh, you know, seeing how it really works out for you in the uh, in your usage case. And like I said, the, we're always here. I, I know that I'm I'm available, and I can be reached through the corporate office. And you guys get my email address, and you have any questions, yeah, I'd be happy to help you guys get set up because I know personally I want to see you guys be able to use these tools, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help you get comfortable with them. But Google itself, there are if you sign in with your new account at plus.google.com, there's a help section or a help tab up at the top. Um, or you can literally just go to Google and type in Google Plus Help, and it'll take you straight to the Help Center for Google Plus. And they will have answers there for the really basic getting started questions. But more advanced stuff, uh, I'll, I will just say, you know, experience is the best teacher there. And um, past that, I said we're, we're always here to help out. Okay. She has a follow-up question. She says, also, is anyone, uh, is anyone using Google Plus with your clients? I don't have a team and will not immediately need to give an example. So I think she wants an example of how she can use it with her client. Well, like I said, I have in the past before, have just myself, an agent, along with a title company, we need to disclose um, or discuss closing costs, and everybody was kind of in a different area, so we all got on to do it through Google, um, Google Hangouts, and we did a share screen to go over the HUD together. I mean, that's just one example. There are, there are many, I feel like, that you could use it for. Okay, here's one uh, from Julie Hintz. Give me a moment to read it. So, so there is no way to set up a corporate Google Plus account? For example, is there an Allison James Google Plus account, or could there be one? Well, all of us at Allison James, we all have our own individual um Accounts, they're Allison Jane accounts, but we have them individually. Um, we haven't really discussed about doing just a, as a whole a corporate account. Can you even do that, John? Create one for the company? Uh, yeah, that's that, that question. Yeah, and what what that actually is is there's they're not so much accounts because again, like you said, you all have your own accounts, but there are you can set up company pages. There's things called Sparks, which I can get into, um, you know, on a more individual, but that's a much broader topic. Um, you can set up an actual circle. The, one of the biggest things is you can set up a circle for Alice and James that people can be a part of. But there's actually distribution channels in Google Plus where Alice and James can be one of those channels, mm -hmm. and you guys, as Alice and James account holders, can post information to it, post photos, post hangouts. So. And I said it's not an account in the purest sense. Like you're not going to be able to log into a corporate or an Allison James account. You all still have to, and will be using your individual accounts. But Allison James can establish a presence on Google Plus that then you can all be members of and exchange information internally that way. Yeah, I'm sure that is something that um, we will look into doing. Um, so I you probably will most likely see that in the future. Yes. Um, this is from Nancy um, Ayers. Uh, do all of the team members or clients and prospects need to have a Google Plus account? You know, um, I mean, to, 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 yes, yeah, I mean, to, to utilize these things, yes. So, you know, like, for example, to, to participate in the Hangout, yes. You can't uh, guest, for example, into a Google Hangout session without a Google Plus account. You do have to have that. That's how you reach Hangout is by logging in with your Google account. But again, remember that if you've been a Gmail user, a YouTube user, any of these other many, many Google services, you already have a Google account then. And in that case, you just go to plus.google.com, put that information in, and it's quite literally one click after that. You just authorize Google Plus to be added to your Google account, which is completely free and you will then be on Google Plus. So yes, you have to have an account to use these services, but I will say getting one is very, very simple and pain free. Dennis Moynihan asks, how do you get access to people to invite them into your circles? Do you import contacts? And if so, where from? Um, you actually reach out to them directly through Google Plus. Google, again, is awesome at search. That's like their core business. So I will say that 
I, pretty much every day Google notifies me about people who either are new to Google Plus or that they've discovered that are more, that are probably you know, either related to me, work with me, like people that I've done business with multiple years ago, let's figure that out and then sent their information over to me. Or if there's people you want to reach out to, you can search for them through Google Plus and if they have an account, you send them an invite similar to how you would invite someone to be a Facebook friend or connect on LinkedIn, same idea. Once they've made that connection, once you've invited them and they accept, then you can organize them into a circle. And you know, for example, um, one of my coworkers is also a family member of mine. So she's in, you know, she's in my following circle, my Republic Tech circle, as well as my family circle. So that's another key thing that I meant to mention earlier is one person can be a number of any number of your circles. That way you can uh, better organize things uh, and but people can be shared amongst groups. Okay. And I have another. Uh, Ms. Betty Flint, your microphone is activated. What's your question for either John or Alicia? Well, I'm a fairly new um, real estate agent. And um, I'm not sure what a virtual assistant might be. I know what an assistant might be, but uh, how how does that work? Well, basically what our virtual assistant, what they do is they work in a different state, and they work just from their computer. So they basically would work from home or a, their own office, but they would work virtually, meaning they would only work you know, by their computer. They don't come into an office to talk to us to do everything through their computer and online. Okay, okay. So that's somebody that you hire to do some work for you, but they're doing it mostly online, right? That's it, 100%, yes. Right. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Carol Curtis, your microphone is activated. What's your question for either John or Alicia? I don't have a question. Oh, okay, we saw you. <laughs> I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, though. Okay, let's see. Uh, Dennis Moynihan has a follow-up. Um, um, let's see. It seems to invite. Okay, it seems to invite the person. It seems to invite to the personal account. Why do you need a business account? Um, okay, does that make sense, guys? Well, I mean. It's not so much having a business and a personal account. You have your account. And like I said, using mine as an example, I have an account that's name is John Joyce. But on that account, I am listed as you know John Joyce, CEO of Republic Technologies. It gives some of my work history, some of my past jobs, so on and so forth. So all the all my business information is there. It's like my business card online. Um, as far as why you need a corporate account, the, exactly what I said, one doesn't even exist. A corporate account, like in the, the example of Allison James, Allison James will eventually have a Google Plus, you know, its own dedicated circle. Uh, it's, it's called a distribution channel or a Spark, where they will be able to send information out to everybody registered to that page on Google Plus. So all the all the information they want to get out is another avenue for getting information to you guys more quickly and efficiently. So there are there aren't there aren't there isn't the concept of these dedicated corporate pages. Everyone is exactly who they are. They're individual people. But then you all become, you know, linked in and shared as a group um, as members of Allison James through Google Plus. Uh, well, Keita Jones asked, is, is the share screen similar to Join Me? Is share screen similar to Join Me? Yes, I'm assuming Join Me is software. Yeah, it's like it, GoToMeeting. Yeah, it's, it's a similar idea, Alyssa, uh, if you've used it in the past as well. Um, it's, it's basically where you're taking what's on your screen and sharing it with the other viewer. So it's, it's the same principle, but again, it's just it's one more service. It's not having to use a third party. It's all integrated right into Google+. Plus. So that's, that's what makes it super convenient. All right. Julie Heinz asked, if a personal plus account, wait, if I had a personal plus account and there was a company page attached to it, if I deleted my personal account, could someone, take, could someone else take over the business page? Um, yes, in, yes, in the way that, again, that page isn't even really going to be, it's not like it is in Facebook where it's assigned to a person. Uh, you, 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 we were going to be establishing an entity, so Allison James is going to be an entity. So if, if you were the only person that was a member of that entity, then yes, it would go away with you. But if you and, say so you guys had an office you know, entity on Google+, Plus that you're all members of, if your account was deleted, whoever, the other people still in it would still be members of it, so it could still use it to share information, have hangouts, so on and so forth. So it's, it's basically shared ownership per se 
of all the members uh, within that group. Because it's not like it's not really a page or a thing of its own. It's just it's a it's a relationship between all the people within it. So you're all members of Allison James. You're all members of your broker team or your agent team, so on and so forth. Okay. Rhonda Wagner asks, um, how can you work on contracts? Can you upload them to Google Docs? Uh, yeah, actually, this this system, um, Google Plus, and being a Google service, integrates directly into. Uh, Google Drive, which is kind of the named replacement for Google Docs, uh, and that Drive is your storage as well as your uh, Google Docs, which are word processing. Um, you, know, you can do your presentations, slide, um, spreadsheets, so on and so forth. But yes, it does integrate directly with Google Docs. Alicia, didn't you say earlier that you guys have used Google Drive to um, share things within your Hangouts, right? Yeah, I mean we've done a lot of things. Um, we, if we need to all go over documents, we share it. We do it. We put it in a, a Google Word doc, we share it with everybody that we need to go over it with and we'll all get on and um, we'll get on Google Hangout and talk about what we think needs to be changed on that document or we like this, or this should be different. Um, so we do that a lot on almost every single document we use, presentations, spreadsheets, everything. And the great part about Google Drive is it is stored in the cloud. So the big advantage to that is rather than having it saved solely on your laptop, if your laptop, you know, fell into the swimming pool tomorrow and was completely destroyed, your documents are safe up on Google Drive, which is awesome. And Google Drive has a lot of excellent sharing features built right in, which I'm sure is what Alicia and them are using. They share it straight out of Google Drive, um, which, and then you just start a Hangout right from there. So you're sharing in the Hangout, and everybody's up and running in minutes, rather than trying to get the email sent out. Oh, the email didn't get to somebody. I misspelled the email address, or they didn't download the right software. It's get on Google Drive, share the document to all the people in that circle or that group that you want to send it to, and then two clicks later, you're in a Hangout. So it's all very efficient, and you can throw it together very quickly. Jose Liba asked, can you have more than one Gmail account? I have one, but use only for rentals. I need one for real estate leads. Jose is in Los Angeles. Absolutely. I, am, I actually have a handful of them because we, um, we have our agropublictech.net email addresses, which are actually Gmail accounts under our own domain name. And then I have two other personal ones that I use as well. So um, you can uh, have, the short answer is yes, you can. Okay, that's good. All right, one moment while I um, – we're at a um, couple minutes left, guys. This, I'm making my last call for questions. So if you have questions, please send them in now or raise your hand so I can activate your mic. One moment. Okay. It looks, um, uh, John and Alicia, it looks like the remaining questions are a little off topic. Um, uh, we're getting questions like how do we increase traffic over the Internet. Uh, Alicia, I think um, that will be a good potential topic in the future. Okay. Uh, we're... Um, uh, yeah, and questions about the slides. Yes, we'll, we'll be sending out actually um, a recording of this. Uh, we'll have it um, we'll have it converted and, and, and put up on one of the websites so that you all can uh, watch this again at your leisure. Um, question here. Oh, question here. Uh, if someone wants to get in contact with you, uh, Alicia, yes, we'll, in a moment we'll be giving contact information. Okay, most are just duplicates of those. Okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and move on. Um, here's Alicia's contact information. Is there anything that you wanted to to share about this, what they can call you for, what they can't call you for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also I want to add, um, go ahead and definitely email me, guys, if you'd like. My email is joinus at ajicorporate.com, and I'll just repeat that. It's joinus at aji corporate.com and corporate is spelled out. Um, we will be sending out recorded version to all of our agents. You'll get that directly and we'll also put it up on our social media and website so be looking out for that. Um, but if anybody wants to give me a call in regards to anything that we've talked about about Google Hangouts um, or Google Plus, you can definitely give us a call and we'll try to walk you through it or give you a little bit more information about it if you need it. Excellent. John, is there anything you'd like to share before we uh, end our call today? No, it was uh, great being able to talk to you guys, and uh, we're just we're very committed and very excited to be able to bring these and many more new and exciting technologies uh, over the coming months. Excellent. 
Well, everyone, thank you again for attending today's webinar. And uh, we uh, do have others planned in the future. And we certainly look forward to bringing you more relevant information to your business uh, sometime soon. You all take care. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.